Today, we have an exciting comparison between two of the most exhilarating sports cars of 2024, the Mercedes-AMG GT and the BMW M8 competition. The AMG GT features a long hood, short rear deck, and a wide stance that screams performance. The front grille is imposing, with the signature Panamericana design, and those sleek LED headlights add to its aggressive look. Meanwhile, the M8 competition takes a different approach. Its muscular lines, large kidney grilles, and sculpted bodywork give it a more aggressive and bold presence. The laser headlights and carbon fiber accents add to its sporty appeal. The redesigned 2024 Mercedes-AMG GT Coupe has a familiar twin-turbo 4-liter V8 power plant, but new trim levels and AMG performance 4 Matic Plus all-wheel drive. The base model GT55 produces 469 horsepower and 516 pound-feet of torque, GT55 can accelerate from 0 to 60 in 3.8 seconds. The second powerful option, the GT63 boasts staggering 577 horses and 590 pound-feet of torque, it rockets from 0 to 60 in just 3 seconds, claimed by Mercedes. On the other hand, there are no changes for the 2024 M8 competition. Under the hood, the M8 hides a twin turbocharged 4.4 liter V8 that makes 617 horsepower and 553 pound feet of torque. It sends that power through an excellent 8 speed automatic and onto a rear biased all wheel drive system that can disengage power to the front axle. The 2024 BMW M8 can accelerate from 0 to 60 in 3.2 seconds. Performance wise, both cars are neck and neck. In Mercedes-AMG GT, with rear-wheel steering and an electronically controlled limited slip differential, the power is expertly converted by an AMG 9-speed transmission, it gives ferocious acceleration and grippy handling. Meanwhile, the M8 competition, with its X-Drive all-wheel drive system, offers incredible traction and stability. It might be a bit heavier, but the adaptive M suspension ensures it stays composed, whether you're on the road or the track. The AMG GT's interior is a blend of luxury and sportiness. High-quality materials, a driver-focused cockpit, customizable digital driver display. The new GT's cabin is more spacious and easier to see out of than the old coupes, but rear seats are not for an adult. An 11.9-inch infotainment touchscreen is standard on all AMG GT coupes. All models come with a wireless phone smartphone charging pad, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto R standard, and a Burmester stereo system. The M8 competition, on the other hand, offers a more luxurious and tech-laden cabin. Merino leather upholstery, a digital driver display, heated and ventilated front seats, customizable ambient lighting, wireless charging, and soft close doors. Rear seats are there, but for toddlers and small packages. The latest iDrive system with a 12.3-inch touchscreen, standard features include a subscription-based Wi-Fi hotspot, Harman Kardon audio system, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto. Both are pricey, but you're getting top-tier performance and luxury for your money. The AMG GT with its pure, rear-wheel drive sports car experience, or the M8 competition with its all-wheel drive stability and luxury? Which one would you pick? Share your thoughts in the comments.